first thing you need to do when creating your door hub is to design it. I've used Corel Draw for this process. You have to draw the overall outline of your door hub, as well as whatever pattern you want to have for the veneers and a sound hole. If you don't have a laser cutter, this can be done on paper, and you can cut out using a scroll saw. For the soundboard I'm using 2mm interior plywood. I can put that into the laser cutter and get ready for printing. Make sure the laser cutter is turned on and turn on the exhaust. Adjust the speed and power settings to suit the material you're using and begin cutting. The first part I'm going to cut is the soundboard, which is the outline of the door hut as well as the sound hole. Next I'll get prepared to cut the veneers. I've selected three different veneers and I'll cut them all at the same time. Take the veneers out and lay them on your soundboard create a nice pattern and to check that you've got everything cut right. With another piece of plywood you can trace the outline of your door harp soundboard onto it so we can cut it out with a scroll saw. You could cut that out straight away but I'm going to glue my veneers on and cut it out while the glue is drying. To glue your veneers you need a couple of bits of paper, a couple of bits of MDF some clamps and some glue. You may also need a bit of masking tape. Have all these ready and prepared before you start gluing. Spread the glue out very evenly over the entire surface of that soundboard. It's very important that every square millimetre of that soundboard is covered, otherwise some of the veneers will pull up. Have an extremely close look around that soundboard. And if it needs some more glue, put more on. And then you can start laying your veneers. Once you've laid them down, it's a good idea to put a bit of masking tape on it to keep it in position during the gluing process. Once you're happy, make sure there's a bit of paper on either side of it and clamp it between the two bits of MDF. You'll need to leave that dry for a couple of hours. While that's drying, you can cut out the back of the door hut with a scroll saw. When you're finished with that, you can trace the outline onto a block of timber about 35mm thick. Draw a border approximately 20mm offset from the outside of the door hut. This will create the sound chamber. We'll cut this out using a jigsaw, but before we do that, we need to drill a couple of holes to allow the jigsaw blade to fit in. Put a 10mm drill bit into the drill press and tighten it up. Adjust the bed height so you can drill all the way through the sound chamber. Drill a couple of holes where you want the sound chamber to be cut out. Clamp your timber down to a bench. Make sure there's an overhang where you're going to be cutting out. Then use a jigsaw to cut out the sound chamber. This doesn't need to be overly accurate because it won't be seen. The next step will be to use the bandsaw to cut out the exterior of your sound chamber. Remember to always cut on the waist side and to never cut over your lines. 